Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got an awesome lesson today for dads, because as you know, it is creeping up on Father's Day. So my friends, let's get cracking. So today, my friends, we are going to create a Tinkercad circuit. My goal is to teach you a skill and then for you to take this skill and make a sweet message for dad. When you click create new circuit, let's start by naming it Happy Father's Day or something similar to that. And then when you search, let's type ARD for Arduino because we are going to use one of those and drop it out. Remember, you click and wait a moment. And then I always like to rotate mine so they take up less space. And then I want to play with NeoPixel strips and we're going to make a light up sign for dad. So if we type Neo, you'll see they all show up and I want the NeoPixel strip four you can use other ones as after you learn the skill, but let's start with this one. The first thing I want you to notice is there is an arrow showing which way this NeoPixel will light up. And you've got an in, a 5 volt, and a ground at each end. I'm going to start by rotating it so it's standing up because this is going to be the letter D for me. And then let's find the code to make it work. Simply type neopixel strip and it'll give you the code examples i love adafruit so i am going to go to their site and we're going to use their code you can also try other codes uh, once you get down simply hit copy code that's the easiest way i'll have this link in the description as well then visit the code button switch to the text button tell it continue select the old code delete it right click paste and let's analyze the code really quickly. This is going to be the most basic code you find. It's really just to test it, but it's also going to be fun for what we're doing. Note pin 6 is where we're going to connect. So let's connect 6 to in right now. And then it's got 144 LEDs. We've only got 4. So that's important. Let's change this to 4 real quick. And then... All it's going to do is draw these colors using this new code down here where it just switches one pixel at a time with a delay of 25 in between each one. I'm going to change that to a delay of 5. I'm going to connect 5 volt to 5 volt. I always like to make my 5 volt show up red so that it's easier to tell where things went. And I'm going to make the ground go to this ground and I'm going to change that wire to black just because the bigger your project gets the more it's nice to have that clear if we hit start simulation boom we have got super quick changes where the lights run through the cool little pattern and it just makes something kind of cool I'm going to hit stop on the simulation and remember I wanted to make something for dad so I'm gonna go back to the strips I'm gonna bring out another strip noting the arrows I'm going to rotate it with this little command a few times to make sure that it looks a little bit like a D. So now it will go up. I'm going to copy that one by doing Control C and Control V. I'm going to rotate it, noting the arrows again. Rotate, 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 rotate. That might have been one too many, so this can be entertaining rotating to the spot you want. Maybe I'm just going to work with that. No, I really want it one more, so I'm going to rotate again, but this time I'm going to stop right there. So that kind of looks like a D, and I've got my ins, outs, and ins going in the right order. So let's start by connecting our digital in, and I'm going to do the little bend where you click once out in space, and then you connect to them. That makes that kind of nice and easy. And then 5 volt once again connects to 5 volt. I'm going to make those red just so they show up uh, clearly later as we make a larger project. And the last but not least, let's do that ground to ground. And make that black because we always keep our grounds so that we can keep them consistent. Remember we go back to our code and now we've got eight of these LEDs. So let's make it eight. If you had a longer line, like if you just did 40, what will happen is it will start going, but there will be a pause as it tries to light up the ones that aren't there um, as it waits. Real quickly, let's hit play and make sure the first eight light up. And so far, so good. I'm going to hit stop, and let's quickly connect the next one. I'm going to go from out to in. 
quickly connect 5 volt to 5 volt. And I'm going to go from ground to ground. Remember, I want my ground black. I want my 5 volt red. Got to add my new 4. Let's make that up to 12. And let's hit play and see if we got them all lighting up. Yes, we do. So our message for dad is starting to come together. I'm going to zoom out. And I'm going to drag it to the other side. And let's see if we can make something that looks like an A. I'm going to click on one of my old parts. Do the control C and control V to bring it into place. Need to scroll in so I can see that arrow. Rotate, 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 rotate. Remember, you could switch to one of the different size LEDs, but I just want you to see the technique. I'm going to roll back. And over on this side, I'm going to go from the out. And I'm going to do the bendable wire. And then I'm going to try and make them so they blend in by making them white. That way they kind of fit, uh, show up on the screen and it's not annoying to my awesome dad that I'm making this for. 5 volt to 5 volt. Going to make that white as well because I watched myself connect it. Let's zoom back out. Go to the end. And let's go from the ground. Out. Remember, you click, bend, scroll in, connect, and pick your color. I did switch from my technique here, but hopefully you can understand it so that the whole project looks cooler. Let's switch to 16 because we just added four more. And when we hit play, let's see if we start to have a whole message for Dad showing up. I'm going to leave the rest up to you, my friends. You can see how easy it is to make this cool message. You can make it say anything you want. When we started, it had 144. So we know it's at least possible to do that many. But there are so many options, so many different pieces you could use. Look at all these different strips to make your letters more fancy. I just wanted to show you the technique. Friends, I hope you had a blast with this. I hope you also take time to tell your fathers how much you appreciate them. I had the best father ever, and I'll never forget all the cool things that he shared with me over the years. So it's just priceless. And friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, send it down below. If you make a super awesome uh, flashing LED, if you send me a link to it using the send to, or you share it with us somehow on social media, at HLModTech on either Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, it would be appreciated. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HLModTech. Thanks for watching. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Thank you.